I thought that training for the Olympics would be the hardest thing that I would ever have to do. But in fact, the hardest thing I've ever had to do is process that I'm a victim of Larry Nasser. It has caused me to feel shame and confusion. And I've spent months trying to think back on my experience and wonder how I didn't even know this was happening to me and how I became so brainwashed by Larry and everyone at USA Gymnastics. I was treated by Larry for any and all of my injuries from ages 8 till I was 18. And it wasn't long before he had gained my trust. He became a safe person of sorts. And to my teenage self, he appeared to be the good guy in an environment that was intense and restricting. He would try to advise me on how to deal with the stresses of training or my coaches. He would bring us food and coffee at the Olympics when we were too afraid to eat too much in front of our coaches. I didn't know that these were all grooming techniques that he used to manipulate me and brainwash me into trusting him. Our bodies were all hanging by a thread when we were in London. Who was the doctor that USAG sent to keep us healthy and help us get through? The doctor that was our abuser. The doctor that is a child molester. I had even talked to my teammates, Allie Raisman and Michaela Maroney, about this treatment and how uncomfortable it made us feel. None of us really understood it. Nobody was protecting us from being taken advantage of. Nobody was even concerned whether or not we were being sexually abused. I was not protected and neither were my teammates. But even though I'm a victim, I do not and will not live my life as one. I'm an Olympian 